Hi guys, this is Jude from EasyTex. Today we are going to be taking a look at this Magic Array wireless phone charger from GoComa. Now right off the box, this wireless charger comes quite simplified and ready for use. You have the wireless charging pad, a standard micro USB cable for attaching the charger to a USB power adapter or some other compatible USB power sources. And then you have a user manual with few simple instructions on how to use the device. In summary, use the right charger recommended by your phone manufacturer and place the phone at the center of the charging pad for effective charging. The charging pad, which actually looks like a giant piece of chocolate cookie, has a surface made of high-quality ABS polymer material with some engravings to keep the phone stable even if it vibrates during charging. Now, still on keeping the charger as stable as possible, you have these eight silicone footings, which are designed to latch firmly on any flat surface. They have some protective films over them which can easily be removed using a pen knife or some other flat device. This wireless charger supports all Qi wireless compatible devices which includes the more recent iPhones, Samsung Galaxy, Huawei, Google Pixel, Sony, Nokia, LG and a bunch of other phones and devices out there. The charger comes in two variants, the 5 watt and the 10 watt power ratings. You can choose which is more suitable for you when you place your order. A good rule of thumb would be to go for the one with similar power ratings as your phone charger. Of course, the 10 watt will charge a bit faster than the 5 watt. Output power is 5 volts as usual for both variants. For input voltage, it can take anywhere from 5 volts to 9 volts. It comes with a micro USB port on one side and a USB type C port on the other side, so you can use a wide range of phone chargers. Here I will be testing this device with a Samsung Galaxy S9 Plus, so I connect my Samsung charger to the USB port C. And then in a moment, I get a nice display of lighting array which shows that the device is powered on and ready for use. This lighting goes away after 6 seconds, but still the charger remains ready to charge up your phone whenever you drop it off. So here we go. As soon as I place my phone on the surface, it immediately senses the Qi receiver which is integrated somewhere at the back of the phone. It then performs the lighting animation again to indicate the presence of such compatible device. And as soon as the lighting gets to the middle, the phone begins to charge, which is quite cool. Now, six seconds later, the lighting goes off, leaving only the LED on the phone as the indicator to show that the phone is charging. I must say here that this is a very efficient design. I mean, the idea of the charger not having any LEDs turned on while charging like most wireless chargers do. Since there is already an LED indicator on the phone, so there is little or no need for additional LED on the charger. And speaking of efficiency, I decided to check the actual power usage of this device when charging a phone, but more so when not charging a phone. So I connected the device to this portable power meter. And as you can see, it first draws about 12 watts, which is a combination of power draw from the phone and the LEDs. And then as soon as the LEDs go off, it drops to about 7 watts, which is what I would expect. Then next, I checked what happens when there is no phone on the charger. Again, quite impressively, the power draw dropped down to zero. So clearly, I don't need to keep plugging and unplugging this device to save up on energy. I can simply plug it once and for all, position it in a convenient location, and then just drop off my phone and pick it up whenever I want. This is really convenient and a big plus to the design because let's face it, our experience with wireless internet that's Wi-Fi makes wireless charging come a bit short of expectation as it is today. So what we have as wireless chargers are mainly gadgets for additional charging convenience and to help prolong the life of the phone USB ports. My next curiosity was the issue of phone cases. So what happens when you have your phone in a case as most of us do these days? So here as you can see, I'm using this rubber silicone case on a Samsung Galaxy S9 Plus and then it charges up just fine. The manufacturer recommends a distance not more than 5mm between the phone and the surface of the wireless charger. It will work well with most phone cases except if your phone case is made of some kind of metal. Another issue with earlier wireless chargers, which I still see with a lot of the modern ones, is the issue of slipping of the pad when the phone vibrates. Those earlier models were made to be narrow and super flat to keep perfect contact with the phone to enable good charging. But being super flat also meant that the phones can easily slip off when they vibrate. If you are charging from a higher surface, this can cause fall and potential damage to the phone. This wireless charger addresses that once and for all. With such wide surface area and fine engravings on the pad, you need not to worry about your phone slipping off when it vibrates.
finally, the issue of charging time. And like I mentioned earlier, this wireless charger comes in two variants, the 5 watts and the 10 watt versions. If you have a high demand on charging time, then you might want to go with the 10 watt version. That will charge up your phone just about as fast as a normal phone charger would. And that is it for this review. I will leave more information and links about this wireless charger down in the video description. Like, share, comment if you have any questions or feedbacks. Don't forget to subscribe and turn on notifications for updates on future tech reviews and other tech tutorials on the channel. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.